guys. So obviously I'm at home on my day off. I wanted to do something a little bit different with you guys today. Mostly because <laughs> the week was insane at the barn and I did try to vlog but things got a little crazy. So that farrier, body worker, everything was this week. So I thought that maybe today I could show you guys the morning stretching yoga routine that I've been doing. Recently, I've been really trying to incorporate stretching and yoga into my routine uh, to help with my riding and my position and my posture. So it's my day off and I'm gonna do that routine and I thought maybe I could show you guys what I've been doing. I am by no means a yoga stretching expert, but since that's what I'm doing this morning, at home I thought I could show you guys pretty much all of my yoga routines I have actually taken from YouTube and I will link some of my favorites in the description below but I've tried to adapt my routine for one just what's best stretching in the morning and two what kind of stretching could be really helpful as an equestrian rider so that's kind of how I got my routine going so I'm having kind of like a lazy Sunday at home on my day off and I made some coffee and I'm gonna go do some yoga now. Oh, hi, do you wanna join me? So every day of the week, every morning, I do a 10 minute stretching yoga routine um, that is straight um, copy of a yoga with, I think her name's Adrienne or Adriana um, off of YouTube. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll move into some other um, stretches, yoga, and other workout exercises that I've added in after that stretching period. Um, that are more focused on things that help me with my back and my hips and legs with riding. So I'm going to do my um, morning stretch routine first. I do like to always take a few minutes to take deep breaths. I've been trying to work on deep breathing and setting my mind for the day. You know, I think deep breathing can be really good for your riding. Um, breathing uh, when you're around horses too can be super helpful. You know, I think horses really respond to you taking deep breaths around them. I think it helps them relax. So typically when I do my morning stretch routine, I do everything either until it feels good or for a certain number of breaths. I don't set a timer on each stretch. Um, again, this is following a pretty simple stretch routine right into cat and cow. I 
really get locked up in my spine and lower back. Um, so this is always a great way to start. deep breaths in a child's pose. stretch for 30 seconds for it to be probably fully effective. I wouldn't say that I always do that. This is one of my favorite ones. I really push back into the hips here. has it helped my riding, but yoga has really drastically made a difference in how I feel going into the day. I feel like it puts me in a better headspace going into a crazy day. I feel like I'm able to mentally set myself up, get into a good frame of mind, and ask myself what I want for the day out of this time. I have been harping on having a morning routine as I've been kind of trying to work on my mental health and I find that making coffee, doing uh, 10 to 20 minutes of stretching and yoga and typically listening to a good um, podcast in the car on the way to work has been real game changer for me. I also go to the gym most mornings in between when I wake up and when I drive to work. But there 
There truly is something about having a good morning routine and setting your intentions for the day. I've also gotten so much more flexible. I always used to be so tight and restricted. So yoga has helped a lot. I think it could be good for every single person on the planet. It seemed all, It always seemed really cheesy to me, but <laughs> it's been a big game changer. In the morning, I'll keep my knees really bent and loose because my legs are a little tight sleeping but I have better stretch reach now. My favorite times to think about uh, positive things and set my intentions for the day during my morning stretching are when I'm um, in the child's pose or in the sphinx pose. It's just a really relaxing stretch. Once I've done these basic stretches, um, each day I kind of do a slightly different routine. I do always incorporate planking though. I've heard that is a really core cool exercise that you can add into any routine as an equestrian because you know we really should be riding with our core and our whole body. I can't hold my plank for very long yet, but I've been practicing every day to try to get better and stronger in my core. If I'm at the gym some days, I will do cardio or weights, things like that. Today I'm going to do some more like yoga Pilates type exercises to stretch out my hips and just some more equestrian based exercises that I've picked up. Leg circles really help me open up my hips.
tend to get a lot of lower back pain. So a lot of these hips is a lot of these stretches are either for my hips or my lower back. And really get into these stretches. It's good to take deep breaths. Some days I'll also incorporate some core work. yoga too? Come. Dakota, come. Okay, the last one I'm going to do today is leg stretches back. nor do I probably look good while doing these things, but they've really helped me. It feels really good. Now, I'm doing a little slightly easier version of these, but in my recent yoga class, we do it standing up like this, but it's a little bit tougher if you haven't been doing it for a while. So, <sighs> if I'm lying on my back when I finish my stretching exercises morning <laughs> routine, hi. Um, 
I like to finish by hugging my knees and doing a little bit of rocking. Even if I rock with my head tucked, it just feels good and loosens up everything. If I'm finishing on my tummy that day or on my hands and knees, then I like to finish with the child's pose. That's always a great one. The other thing I've been doing before I wrap up today is actually doing shoulder clavicle upper body exercises. So any every day in my morning routine, whether I'm doing cardio on the bike, doing yoga, whatnot, try to add in to make sure I'm stretching out this space too, because I struggle with riding a little like hunched over and slouchy. Um, I've always struggled with my upper body in that way. So I've just been trying to consciously think about if, even if I don't have a doorway to push against, stretching um, that area because not really something that's added into a normal stretch routine with a yoga instructor. But normal people probably don't have to think about stretching this area as much. I'll also do it with just one hand or like my arm out like this. But that really just helps this all, if I do that daily, all of this up here loosen up and stretch out. I can feel it being tight. It seems it probably, it probably look ridiculous right now. But um, I'm just working on, that's one of my big goals for the next year of my riding is to really get that elongated neck and upper body instead of like, I always curl and I'm like riding like this. So, um, incorporate those too if you struggle with that. Again, that's not something that I see added into a lot of normal yoga or stretching routines, but again, that's just something that's helped me is consciously thinking about holding that and stretching this part of my shoulder. And I, I don't even know what you call these mus muscles <laughs> around your like clavicle and collarbones in my neck. And then I consciously do it riding too at the walk, even if I'm not pulling my arms out, you know, like this and stretching the muscle and thinking about overdoing it. So, um, I hope this wasn't too boring. I thought that would be something different to do today to kind of go over my morning as I'm slouching <laughs> stretch routine and the little bit of yoga I do. I also take yoga classes at the gym or like I said, YouTube is a great resource for free yoga. Um, walkthrough videos. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do that with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later this week with uh, more barn stuff, but something different today. Right?